So I just wanted to show you a little bit of my propagation area. <clears throat> so these uh, <clears throat> purple carrot and purple cabbage and the green ones are cauliflower. And this is what I was trying to convey to you is that many of these are tomato plants. planted amongst all the other chosen plants. And we have some little cabbages here that I, uh, little tree colors actually, amongst these cabbages that were purchased. But these little Pony packs are what I've been using. And so they're like repurposed. These little cuttings, tree collars. I can cut some for you, I don't mind. I got plenty of them, some more cabbages. And then the propagation various different I don't know if those are all in focus Egyptian spinach and other so it's going to take some time here's a little scan of the potted plants are still over here and I'm trying to grow some chili peppers they haven't come up obviously and oh look poppies and Mary transplanted one of our split leaf philodendrons yesterday and then uh, more kale and these are red beets which I uh, didn't plant from seed they're all from transplants and now I'll go into the garden oh yeah here's some more various so I planted these are sage it's really bright here, but this is lemon balm. Oh, it looks like mint. And then we needed a new rosemary because after 15 years, our rosemary plant croaked. I killed it. I cut it back too much. And now this one is... So I wanted to show you these. I bought these trance as little tiny, like literally, like slips. One plant here, another plant here, a little taller one there, and then a really big one. I'll turn the camera here a little bit. This one's almost three feet tall. So these are goji berries and pomegranate. I figured, hey, I'm alive, so I'll grow them. They were two for six bucks each. Of course, they would have been 36 bucks each if I had bought them full grown, ready to harvest. And there's a good use for an old greenhouse that the tarp died, and well, now it's nothing. But here's a tree collard. An idea of the size of this thing. So there's the fence. It's a traditional fence height. I think that's probably like seven feet. And the other free starts in the garden, you might be able to harvest this out of your garden. This is called garden cress. Similar, similar to uh, water cress or so flowers, they look just like mustard. 
Now most of the flowers are gone. Here are the flowers. And these are the seed pods. And these seed pods look very similar to broccoli or collards or red chard. Over the next couple months these seed pods will double or even triple in size and then you'll have plenty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it always let it go to seed and so in the early spring and late winter these start popping up and they're perfectly edible and they're free. And here's the little slug trap. <clears throat> oh yeah, leaf compost bin. So I wanted to show you, I know this is quite a long video, I wanted to show you my uh, composter. Oh, it's out here in the back 40. And this is called a Dora 270. This is the mid-size double tumbler. Look, it's one of the residents. And I wanted to show you the inside because this is, <clears throat> it's been about two months since I put anything in this side. Except for yesterday when I put a little soil and some leaves in. Let's see if we can get some shade in here. Maybe this will be easier for you to see. So let's. You can see some of the leaf compost. Just wanted to feed the uh, worms just a little bit more food before harvest. This is pretty much the way it is when you have a really excellent compost tumbler. It's probably the best one on the market. wanted to show you not every seed is always compost so you have to be a little bit more careful but it's pretty prolific even though I had put a little bit of food in here for the worms for the next couple of days still things don't compost Seeds are still there. See, that's pumpkin seeds. So you have to be a little bit more aware. If you don't care if they're completely broken down or not, that's fine. As long as you're a little bit aware that you're going to get uh, some things are really durable. So that's the side that I'm going to harvest that soil from. And then this is the side that I'm still filling see everything looks still pretty much intact in here still the worm population is incredible so some of that's because I'm putting my worm compost in there uh, worm castings I'm sorry and then uh, some of it's because I'm putting also biochar in there <clears throat> it's my little stack of biochar and uh, uh, rock dust and insect grass. So just wanted to show you kind of a quick garden tour. This is a free start. Red chard. I don't take up any of the uh, dandelions, but what I wanted to also show you is this carpet of red chard. And not only is it here, but it's over here. And potatoes from last year, they decided they had enough still in the soil, and then they're <clears throat> 
I wanted to show you this. I'm going to bring you some of these seeds here. This is echinacea. This is what a seed, go to seed flower looks like. Not as pretty as those crimson flowers with a with the uh, frilly edge, but pretty beautiful. You get a lot of flowers that are like that or larger. It's an old composter that I don't use it anymore. Anyway, I wanted to show you this uh, echinacea stand and a little tour of the garden. And all these little containers have the slug, well, there's an open container for a slug. And see here are the some of the red chard that have grown up a little faster. So there's plenty of harvest for cruciferous vegetables. This one's getting ready to flower. And you can harvest the flowers just like broccoli would be a little different flavor, very similar in its nutrient content. Lots of uh, lots of growth in the garden, and then there's a uh, artichoke, which, as you know, is a perennial. More potatoes. Go over here. Tomcat. That's actually his name. Tommy Peacock. It's a Norwegian forest cat. Actually likes me. And a newly planted oregano. I just wanted to show you some of the garden area here. I do apologize for the length of this video. It's quite long. <clears throat> Kale. I've been waiting over 10 years for this amaryllis to flower. I've never had very much success, mostly because uh, snails love it, and it, flower has always been eaten every single year. And look at that. You and I are the first ones to see one of these edibles to become part of the spring garden. So this survived last year's slug infest and <clears throat> kill. You can see some of the damage done by the snails. But these are also little baby artichokes. Some of the snail kill. A few more potatoes. And look at that. It survived the winter. A little bit of marjoram. Amazing. I didn't even know until now. Some more kale. And you notice down here at the base, I didn't separate them when, from the transplants. I just put them down. It's okay. Not a problem. <clears throat> You're not going to have any issues not separating them. You have to make sure that the snails don't get them. So I have some of these flowering bromeliads. I'd be happy to give you some of these too. These are take over your yard. <clears throat> I bought a little one at the uh, mall for five dollars. I'm not kidding you. Twenty years ago, still never can get rid of them. This is the cat enclosure that we built for the winter for Tommy and his daughter little miss and so this is going to probably come apart today i don't really need it anymore so i just wanted to share with you oh yeah this is a tree collar uh, stands almost seven feet tall this will be going into the ground soon i just transplanted it from a one gallon pot to a three gallon pot and there's avocado. We've had over 10 years. It's never flowered once and never, of course, chances of it giving some fruit are probably low. Back in the house.
I like to grow some plants. This is a Sharif plant. Another one. I'll give you a little tour in the front. And no, I'm not growing cabbages in the front of my house, unfortunately. It's <clears throat> the front garden area. Mary had put in these little stones, hoping that we would have a sitting area here. But as you can see, it's overgrown. <clears throat> yeah, a lawn. As stupid as it sounds. Eastern Redbud. We got this free from the city. It's, of course, a jade plant. This is a, probably our favorite. This is a little Meyer lemon tree. Neighbor gave us this. This is a peach. New Meyer lemon. This one just wasn't enough. This pine tree we call Charlie Brown. So we actually, <clears throat> it's actually a little sproutling that came up in our lawn when we lived in Roseville. That was in 2004. Uh, came up in the lawn because a neighbor had a pine tree and so literally an inch tall and transplanted it into a four inch pot. And then now it's uh, almost seven feet tall. Every year we bring it in the house and dress it up for the holiday. <clears throat> and then our newest addition, let's hold it out right here. Newest addition is a kumquat. Always wanted a kumquat tree. So uh -oh, that's a three inch pot. And I just wanted to show you another, oh yeah, a little tiny itty bitty flower. I wanted to show you here, I put in a little soil and right there is one of those pumpkin seeds that I had showed you. It would be butternut or Hubbard or something. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that if you don't mind composting, certain seeds will never break down in your compost. This is Concord grape. Mary had me plant this about five years ago. It's just starting. Now, if you like uh, stuffed grape leaves, this is the perfect plant. You can just take these little leaves and steam them and then roll up your favorite condiment. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick tour of our front yard. biggest tree. This was four feet tall when we got here. It's hard to believe that the landlord was saying, you know, this tree just won't grow. I don't know what the problem is. Obviously, it's not a gardener. I wanted to just show you this tree. It's enormous now. Of course, 14 years has gone by. <clears throat> Of course, everybody should have Clive in their garden. Another, another little cat in home. Anyway, that's the end of the tour. <clears throat> Just wanted to share with you a little bit. And 